This video does not call for violence. It contains a scene of feeding insects with ants. Hello, today there will be a very interesting video. I managed to get a couple of ticks in order to show you what the reaction of ants to mites will be. I can confidently say that such situations happen in nature. Probably at least once in your life each of you has encountered such unpleasant insects as ticks. They can be different. For example, Argus tick, pastry tick, meadow tick, brown duck tick. Right now you see a brown duck tick. But who are these ticks and why do people not like contact with these insects? This is what we need to figure out today. Previously, the channel already had episodes about ticks, and then we showed the reaction of ticks to a leech. And can a tick stick to the skin of a leech? Back then this video gained more than 5 million views. The ticks cannot stick to the skin of a leech, but the idea itself was interesting. A little later in the same issue I decided to check. What happens if a praying mantis sees a tick? Is it suitable for praying mantis food and can praying mantises hunt ticks in nature? Thereby reducing the tick population in natural conditions. The answer to this question turned out to be amazing. Because the praying mantis's mandibles are strong enough to bite through the thick skin of the tick. And as a result the praying mantis took the tick as food thus confirming its predominance in the food chain. Now we will return to our experiment, which already shows an example of how easily ticks can overcome almost any obstacle, even if it is a glass. I also have a small group of ants, consisting of regular worker ants and guards, which are slightly larger than their counterparts in order to understand whether ants can be useful in the fight against ticks, we should put these ants in a terrarium with these ticks. That's all. So, who is this tick? Contrary to popular belief, ticks are not insects. They are invertible arthropods and belong to the class of arachnids. Ticks are one of the types of spiders, and their number significantly exceeds the number of representatives of the order of spiders. They are distinguished from insects by the structure of the body. The tick has four pairs of limbs, a head connected to the chest, and it also has no antenna. It's like a watermelon. Watermelon is a berry and not a fruit only because it has a large number of features which characterize berries. It's probably no secret that a tick can bite. A tick bites a person or animal in order to feed on its blood. Thanks to it, the parasites multiply and survive the cold seasons. As a rule, female ticks attack more often. To conceive as many new individuals as possible, they need to drink the amount of blood which is several times more than their body weight. This may take them up to 10 days. That is why in case of a bite, you must promptly contact a specialist or remove the tick yourself. Males, as a rule, are content with lymph. As for the reaction of ants to tick, I think you yourself noticed that ants try to attack ticks. Some of the ants even carry the tick from one place to another. But unfortunately they fail to bite through the thick skin of these ticks. You and I still have one more important question. Is it really only because of a bite people are so afraid of ticks? Today scientists have studied over 54,000 different types of ticks. For example, when bitten by a person or animal, an excited tick is able to fix itself on the body and feed on blood for more than a week. Its bite can cause tick-borne encephalitis and borreliosis in humans. The Argus tick belongs to the subspecies of the excited tick and also poses a serious danger to both humans and livestock. The pasture tick carries encephalitis, brucellosis and listeriasis. The middle tick is a carrier of such infections as tick-borne encephalitis, borreliosis and plaque. 
duck ticks are the most prolific among relatives. However, it attacks not only ducks, but rodents and birds can become its victims. The spectrum of diseases is wide, from a bite you can become infected with encephalitis, borreliosis, tularemia and fever. The most effective way to protect yourself from the consequences of a tick bite is to pre-vaccinate. If you frequently visit tick areas, you should be vaccinated against encephalitis. Well, as for ants and ticks, the ants could not cope with this terrible parasite. I hope it was interesting for you. If so, be sure to like this video. And that's all for now. Best wishes and peace to you all.